Bank. Today there was a protest in front of the central bank organized by Anglo Not Our Debt and we went to it briefly this morning. I had a look at what was going on and talked to one of the leaders of the, this group, um, Nessany Kassler. Uh, let's have a look. What's this about? We've gathered here outside the Irish Central Bank as the Anglo Not Our Debt campaign creating a CSI style crime scene and this is in order to launch our Freeze the Anglo Bonds campaign. Uh, these Anglo Bonds are the new form of the illegitimate Anglo debt that was converted from promissory notes in February and they're now being held inside here in the Irish Central Bank. Uh, we know the Irish Central Bank is preparing to trade these bonds on the domestic and international markets so we're calling on Patrick Conaghan, the head, the governor of the Irish Central Bank and Minister for Finance Michael Noonan not to trade these bonds because it locks us further into paying this illegitimate debt and for our Minister for Finance to negotiate a full and immediate write down of this unjust debt. But people would argue that it is our debt because the bank guarantee was uh, instituted by a legally constituted government uh, acting on our behalf. Yes, but we're, we're holding this crime scene investigation uh, in the wake of the release of the Anglo tapes, which really demonstrates to the people of Ireland what we already knew, that there was deliberate misleading uh, of the government and uh, regulating mechanisms in Ireland in advance of the issuing of the bank guarantee. So this debt is not the responsibility responsibility of the people of Ireland. It's not our debt to pay and we shouldn't pay it. In what way was the government misled? The government was, was, mis, was misled by Anglo executives, in particular the area that, of the tapes that we feel is of most concern is when uh, the executives on the Anglo tapes reveal that they picked a number out of thin air, so to speak, um, and said that this is the amount of money that will be required to save Anglo, when they knew that that money would not be enough to save Anglo, and that their strategy was to get in this, a certain amount of money in order to in a sense dupe uh, the Irish government and the Irish state into following their money and therefore investing further funds into Anglo which are now being repaid by the ordinary people of Ireland. If it was as believed at the time just a liquidity problem we would have got the money back there wouldn't have been an issue. Yes, but the, but the state was wrong and as, as that has come to light, bondholders were continuing to be repaid the reckless investments that they made. That should not have happened, they should not have been, repa they should not have been repaid and as a result now we are in a sense uh, compensating, uh, we are in, in a sense compensating bondholders for the profits that they've made uh, as a result of their reckless and predatory investments into the Irish banking system. You have only about 10 or 15 people here at this demonstration. It's just there isn't much public support for this. I think there's a lot of public fatigue in relation to this issue and I don't think it reflects that there isn't public anger. One of the things that we're calling for today is clarity on who knew what in relation to the Anglo tapes. How much of this information was in government hands at the time? Why wasn't it released earlier? If these tapes were released earlier there would have been a far, there would have been uh, I suppose greater clarity around the human story, the human behaviour behind the, the bank guarantee and the socialisation of the bank debt, in particular the Anglo debt, and there would have been much greater public outrage which would have pressured Michael Noonan to actually ask for a write-down of our socialised banking debt. We know from the results of the, the deal that they struck uh, in February, which we believe is totally inadequate, that the Minister for Finance, Michael Noonan, didn't even ask the European Central Bank for a write-down. He didn't even fight on our behalf. What if it emerges that the government knew full well what was involved in all this and still went ahead with the bank guarantee? Well, if the government knew, well, then this demonstrates that this is that that they have wronged the people directly, uh, that we still should not repay this debt because the European Central Bank and the IMF, we believe, knows that Ireland's debt to GDP ratios are number one unsustainable, and from the people's point of view, the debts that we are repaying are unjust. So, on both counts, we do not want to pay this debt. That was Nancy Costa of uh, Anglo Not Our Debt uh, campaign.